Welcome to the meeting of the Renewable Energy Fund Grant Review Committee. Um, this meeting is open for public viewing and will be recorded and posted on the township website, just so we all know. Uh, on the agenda, item number one, uh, adoption of the agenda. For motion to adopt today's agenda. Mr. Park, second by Paul Brother. Um, a declar as a de declaration of inner interests. No, no. Um, seen. Um, minutes from the previous meeting are basically um, sorry. Uh, confirmation of the minutes from the first session of the Renewable Energy Grant Fund Committee, Ward uh, 237 Committee. Um, the minutes from the first session were uh, adopted, uh, circulated as errors. Are there any errors or uh, amendments? See, no. Uh, we'll finish business. Nothing important to council. Uh, we're going to skip to number seven, uh, uh, right off the bat, instead of six, for the Renewable Energy Fund grant application from Lowe's Township. Yeah. Next. No um, so, the <laughs> sorry, I thought it was going to be like an answer and questions kind of thing, but. Uh, um, well, yes, yeah. presentation, no? Oh, no. Oh, no. Usually, presentations. More time. Even my list of them. Not speaking that at all. Um, so, uh, community members, uh, any questions regarding the report that's listed on page 47? I got a couple of questions. Far away. Um, is this a, I'm just confused as to, I know it probably meets the standards of uh, the uh, policy or whatever, but it looks to me like there's a six hundred and seventy thousand dollar contract here, which, and then you go down to the back, and a lot of it is based on, uh, unless I'm misinterpreting, this salaries, technician four hours, athletics coordinator four hours, engineer manager one hour. And yet, previous submissions of almost a minuscule amount, we were really harping on it isn't the pay for salaries, or in a sense, it isn't, shouldn't be the, uh, but yeah, like we're basically subsidizing somebody else's wages. And, and in the smaller groups, like we talked about uh, the last two there, uh, Bath, I think it was the, uh, Garden Club, yeah, we, yeah. we really, you know, and so this is almost, yeah, so we can't say to one group, no, and then to another group, oh yeah, and that's, a, you know, personally, it's a hell of a lot of money, and um, was that the original concept of the program to subsidize township stuff from, that may have not been able to be funded through other avenues? I'm really uncomfortable with the township making a presentation like this person. Sure. So it looks like you've gone around the purpose. I thought of this thing was community grant. And yes, this is a community option, but you know. So, so I can actually speak to that. The uh, the amount of request is actually to cover the services of a, the architect architectural services needed to come up with the schematic and detailed design, the salaries or the staff time listed in the application would be an in-kind contribution from the township itself. So any staff time um, is not included in that $669,000 figure. Um, that's entirely consultants. Um, but consultants are also paid, right? Consultants that, that, that's also the paid. concept I'm trying to get across. We can't be using it. To, we've set the precedent, I think, in previous meetings of we don't use it to pay a full amount of some project. For sure. So, um, you know, I can't necessarily speak to how much of that would be to cover consultant salaries? Um, this is for the services that they would be providing to get us to uh, the detailed design phase of the project. So um, that, that's the only thing I can I can say to that. Um, but happy to clarify more. No, I just like, like I said, that's uh, for a volunteer committee, which we are, um, this is a huge amount of money. And I think, in, from my point of view, I would vote against it simply because I think this is a council matter from my point of view. You know, um, when we're doing community groups that you mentioned, we're not talking 
this we're talking 5,000, 2,000, 1,000. And I was quite shocked just to see it because it really doesn't lay out, like I said, where the money's going other than it's a contractual obligation. What does that mean? Fair enough. So, so again, like this is based on um, a quote that was received from the architectural consultant that was hired on for this project, and the way they determined their fee or their their fee at this stage was based on a percentage of what the overall project itself might cost once you incorporated construction. So, um, that's that's how they determined that number to cover their costs. I also get back. So, this is just a uh, schematics. Uh, Diagram, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like engineering, I would call it myself. Yes. Um, so uh, the the detailed design is everything that you could possibly need to hand over the design to someone who would be building the facility. So um, you know all the all the floor plans, um, structural information, machine information, everything that would need to be ordered. So that that's the level of detail that's in, involved in the detailed design. So it's a package that would be put together and hand it over to a consultant or to a contractor, and they would be able, be able to take it and start building the facility based on all the information included in the, in the detailed design. So is this a, is this a one shot 670,000 or is there? So um, this, know, if there's a revised thing, then are you coming back and saying you need to revise? And... So the, the application uh, in front of you is uh, a one shot for the design, yes. Um, what would that leave in the account? Do you have any idea? Um, the renewable energy stream for two and three, as of right now, has about 860000 But that doesn't include any income from this year. So. Um, I believe the application is applying for both um, funding from both streams. Yes. So, yeah, 25 and 75. Yeah. So if we uh, use an estimate of last year's income for this year's income for the new metric, which is usually goes up a little bit, um, the Ward Two Three, including this year's income, would have about one point one million, and the Ward One would have about three hundred and sixty-six thousand. So that would leave uh, just over two hundred thousand in Ward One. So four fifty. So 75 for the main line of work. 75 is 670. It's actually I had it somewhere. Yeah, so the 502 came out at the end of this year, once we did this year's revenue. Yeah, there'd be about 600,000 left a year at this year so uh, and that would be for the more two three yeah. energy benefits yeah. and i guess this is a question to the chair more than anything um has the uh ward one committee met yet um like on this this might have been a proposal that we could have both been together with so you know yeah. um have they have they met they are meeting next uh tuesday okay um, will there be an update sent to this committee on the resolution of that? Please do. That is that's my question, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Marshall, any questions? Marshall, yeah. Marshall? Yeah. Um, I think this is more for terms of reference for the deputy uh, clerk. Looking to just confirm that there's nothing in the terms of reference that Den, uh, would deny us the ability to uh, grant this based on the fact that it's a subcontractor. I understand the whole thing with wages. I, I think just the way the contract is broken out, it just itemizes the wages, but really it's getting paid to a third source. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So correct? within the, the policy itself? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's nothing, I believe, contract with services are at the table. Up on that. To me, it would be the same thing as if it was 
about a gardening club that was making signs or something and they're paying it to a third party sign company. Mm -hmm. so, I just wanted to make sure there's nothing wrong. I was going to say, I think the policy is, and I may be wrong, is more of doesn't pay the wages of the applicant. Uh, uh, exactly, that was my understanding. Yeah. More or less, it's a direct employee of the. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. 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 I think that was what was intended to be the case. So um, under 4.12, grants will not be considered for the following. In general, organizations from which the municipality purchases services or with which it has contracts with will not be eligible. So I don't think this is a regular contracted service. This is a, a one-time, yeah. So I, I don't really speak to that. Um, I could ask a question on that. And does that mean that any company, um, architectural, whatever that's had past or other relationships with the township would be eligible? So if they have a project ongoing now, they have a relationship with the township. You know what I'm saying? No. Can you... I think, no. Yeah, try to clarify. Ahead, I, think, yes. I think what Paul's saying is that if it's somebody that, uh, Township is currently using for services external to staff. Mm -hmm. Would they be eligible to apply or be eligible through this grant process to be awarded a contract? I guess is that yeah yeah. So to me, the interpretation of that, the definition of that, is that um, it comes down to because this is a special project. Yeah. Um, the contracted services that are used by the township would not apply to the or limit or prohibit these people from being awarded that? That's my understanding. I, I don't know, like, yeah. I guess the question would be, and again, it goes back to the yeah. sort of the parameters of the policy is, is that in the policy that a special project is eligible? Can you read that again? Yeah. yeah. Because that opens it up anytime you want, the township wants to get some money, we'll call it a special project. Um, so grants are not available in general organizations from which the municipality purchases services or with which it has contracts with will not be eligible. So to me, that's saying that it currently has projects on the go with. Like you can't apply for a yeah. grant midway through a project. Mm -hmm. I'm interpreting what you guys are. You were there through all this? Yeah. Uh... Like I think, like a good example right now would be how we have the contract with um, Boys and Girls Club to provide summer camps. We entered into a contract. Right. And to me, that would prohibit them from then coming to this committee saying that we want money through this committee for this, even though we just contracted them to do. Right. So the other like, and to me, the other that's, entity, like, yeah. that's kind of sneaky to that sort of relationship. But I guess that's a pretty recent example. And under the yeah, because that could be an organization that may, because they in theory they come for community grant to do something mm -hmm. like well, we have a contract with you to provide that. So. Yeah, like contracted services are eligible within the policy. Like there's a under the application, there's contracted services and then the amounts for that contracted service. Yeah. No, I just I just think it needs to be tightened up because like, like I said, six hundred seventy thousand is a hell of a lot different than a thousand dollars for the government. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, event, and it is council's decision, so you know they're going to own it one way or the other. <laughs> yes, 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 absolutely. <clears throat> other questions from any other committee members? Get to. Uh, it's the point of resolution whether this gets uh, approved uh, to move on to, well, it's going to the council either way, whether it's approved by the committee or 
I'm too afraid to slip for a motion for either. So moved for a seconder. Marshall, uh, all those in favor? Passes. Is that it's a um, it can be support? Support, yeah, support yes. yes. Just uh, to just note that I didn't vote, I just abstain on that. Yeah, I can put a recorded If you'd like, sure, okay, I can so record a vote then. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. Um, back to uh, number six and six point one in the back museum visitor center information center. Questions or concerns? Um, I don't have any questions. I think it's a good proposal. Uh, absolutely. You know, um, I think I think at times we don't uh, celebrate. I guess is the worst history of our area, and this is certainly a project that obviously since they've gone through one run of the book, it, there's a need out there, and with uh, many new people in Bath and in the area, I think it's uh, well worth the investment. I have one question here. Um, once these books are, are published, um, are they going to be free to be able to the public? Or do you have to pay for them? That would be in there. Yeah. Oh, they have to get costs. Yeah. I wonder why I bought the history of Bath because I said it was a great project, but I just want to know if you have to pay the plan. Um, uh, basically, page 27, uh, it's just talking about the costs, but it, it, is, uh, it doesn't have anything in here as to uh, whether they are free or not. So, the only question says on page 9 uh, make book available for sale to all interested parties on the bottom of page 9. Yes. I mean, that's one way that they can also uh, generate some revenue so they don't have to come back looking for revenue from us again. And I mean, if it is for tours, then hopefully it can be a reasonable price. Thanks. Uh, thank you. See you on page nine right here. Yeah. Thanks for your question. No, okay. I make, I, a, I, I make a motion to accept the report and recommend it to council to be approved. Yeah, second. 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 Okay. All those in favor? Pass. Six point two. Live Sundays. Uh, this uh, five thousand they can apply for. Yes, it's so 18 weeks of entertainment, which is great. I worked it out. It's a monthly per session, it's only $275. Which is great, which is great. And the best day, day and age, and costs of bands and cars. We sell your time. It's a pretty good Absolutely. Uh, they do have other sources of revenue and they have some sponsorships yeah. and things like that, but for an investment from the new spell, yeah, and they have. Other uh, issues. Go ahead. So the only question that I have, and it speaks to Paul's point, we were talking about there are salaries and wages included in mm here, -hmm. um, which if, if we go by the letter of policy, then it's not really permitted. So I'm not sure what to do with that. I do see that the amount requested less the. Uh, or sorry, the total expenses less wages is still more than what they're requesting. Uh, 
that one so you're still Yes. Just one clarification. They did, I will make a note that they did use to receive money from the ad hoc fund. Yes. Yeah. And the mayor's discretionary fund. Mayor's discretionary fund. Yeah. They always got the facility covered. Well, again, comes down to yeah. yeah, it's going to be an ongoing. Maybe we should ask council to look at the, the salary part of, of the policy because it seems that you know this is two meetings. We've already had three. One has already gone back, and then you know where we're looking at what is what is uh, what is the salary. And uh, you know, in this case, the other thing becomes you know. In a worst case scenario, you give the money and it says, you know, it's going to be spent on salary, but then the council or whoever had basically, you don't know, so you can, I guess, report back. How, how do they select it? Is it part of the policy? Like, you know, Tesh asked for $1,000, you put salaries in for 500 Well, you don't know whether who got it, where it went, you know, and I think just that policy has to be tightened up around that area because it seems that that's a fair chunk of uh, definitely. So looking at their proposed budget on um, line 46 or page 46, we can go back to what we were talking about that if you pay to a third party, single performer and bands would be a separate separate entity, like a subcontractor. So it's really the sound technician, I think, that would be technically employed um, by our music Sundays. So I don't know if there's a way, because I know they are looking for the confirmation of this to go to council as soon as possible to try to get that funding. If there's a way to approve a portion of it based on what we know and then try to get clarification on whether is that something that we can approve. I think so. Um, just trying to find it. So yeah. So my, my understanding of the intent of the policy where it speaks to salaries. Is that it's not paying the people applying, making the application. Um, there oh. are, yeah, there are like in the application, there is a section for salaries, like you do have to pay people for the services they're, offer they're offering. So that's my understanding of the, the intent of it. Um, but maybe that is something that um, council can review in the future um, is the, the definition of salaries and what that means. That's what Paul was mentioning too. There's no way of knowing it. If Paul, on behalf of Ryan Cronkey, applies for it, whether he's on whether he's on payroll, right? There's no way of. Mm -hmm. Or, or, or that. even worse, uh, that the subsidiary of somebody in this is actually getting the benefit of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, yeah. I would think in this case, it'd be the applicant. Are they one of the musical artists that's going to be getting paid? Yeah, like, yeah, like stuff like that. So then he is getting paid, right? Yeah. I don't know if he is, I have no idea. But. He does play. He, does, he plays. He does so play, so I don't know if he. And I don't imagine he would make anything different than the other artists. But no, no. You're not getting that shot. No, no, they're no, not. It's definitely <laughs> not. not. I make a motion again, similar to the last one, to accept it and recommend uh, that council approve it. Uh, that's Second. Okay. 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 All those there. Motion okay. passes. Okay. Any other correspondence from office? Uh, no, but just um, clarification for minutes. We didn't get a second uh, anywhere in the secondary to receive them as presented. We moved the agenda as a minutes. Yeah. Oh, we did not. That's a moment. Oh, actually. Yeah, I think it's on the 23rd. Yes, you were. So I, yeah. I was at both. So yeah. I was <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I apologize for skipping no, that. It's okay. Stop me. Um, any other announcements or inquiries? I'm just wondering if we could sort of formally inquire or present, ask council to clarify the 
but we were just thinking. Just that. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure if that fits. I mean, so that's a motion, motion, motion or just yeah. Who would definitely yeah. Just kind of like progression. Yeah. yeah. So I, I would move that the uh, renewable energy fund grant committee <laughs> board two and three uh, ask council to clarify the uh, terminology around the concept for the use of the of uh, employee or paid salaries or salaries and wages. Wage, salaries and wages. Okay. Second that. Second that. So moved. Uh, that will be everything. Uh, you have a future quarter three meeting date. Uh, or something to be discussed at a later time. Why email? Do you want to? That's fine. I just ask one thing before we get to yeah. that. Oh, um, I'd just be interested. I don't know how this logically plays out to, to receive the minutes of Ward One on the discussion of uh, the six hundred seventy thousand in the town. So I'd just like to get some correspondence. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So this would be our second application. Um, I'm just going to pull up the terms of reference. The next application is closed on the 1st of September. This was 1st of June. Yeah, so it's my understanding applications won't open again until the new year because it's twice a year. Okay. So the first was in January, um, being reviewed, reviewed in February, and then closing in the month of May and being reviewed in June. Probably could be quarterly, but that's fine. Yeah, so it's, it's the twice. I'm just, um, I'm not sure in the terms of reference if there was a closing out meeting um, for the committee to make suggestions to council. That for some reason I'm thinking there was, but I, I could be wrong. And I wonder if there would be something because you don't have to submit their report. Their report, right? Okay. So that would make yeah. sense that the committee would receive that, right? Yeah. Is it possible if the notice to council that you could possibly see if we would do this possibly quarterly? Just uh, um, for example, on this one live music Sundays, he's been at us since March. Um, if we if he doesn't get it in in January, we're going to have, for example, the same situation um, where he's already up and running um, and counting on the money to be able to actually run the program. Right. That we could possibly look at doing it quarterly, just so um, I guess we could be uh, happier and responding to the needs of the municipality. Yeah, for example, let's say the figure skating club wanted to do no something. Yes. I know, I can, you know, you, you basically are, if you don't have it done the first of June for the following year, you're going around in January. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So have applications available to the public four times a year. Quarter, like yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. If possible, just that way you can be a little more reactive to what's going on in the municipality, yeah. like even January, June, and September, October. Yeah. But when does the money come in? Sorry, the actual cash can. Yeah, it's going to be here, isn't it? Yeah, we, we would accrue a year end, and then for the wind, the turbines, it typically comes in March, the actual cash in hand for the prior year. By the time we actually get around to send it. And that's the and it's some of the silver fronts that typically come in before yeah. so they have to do all their for the terms they have to calculate for any downtime and stuff like that. 
Maybe we could have just seen a suggestion of this upcoming meeting at your call, unless we're not approving anything. Um, but we do have to review the year, do we not, Brandy? So it says the committee will meet a minimum of two times per year. So this would be your third meeting. Um, additional meetings may be held as required by the chair. Okay. Yeah, so we don't think it speaks to doing like a wrap up meeting. Okay. We can, uh, I can definitely hear you uh, discuss that. And okay. We have another need for another meeting. Any other um, inquiries? Announce motion to adjourn. That's what I'm getting to. Motion to adjourn. Uh, seconder. Sort of marks. Sorry. Sorry. Marks. All those in favor? I'm stating. Marshall.